standing tall, they show us how a life can be lived filled with giving. Trees are lungs on land. To grow, they require energy. To get this energy, they draw on the sun. They also absorb carbon from the atmosphere as they grow holding this carbon within their trunks and branches in a process called carbon sequestration. This absorbed carbon dioxide combined with the absorbed sunlight helps the trees produce glucose. The energy they require to grow and in the process of this function they release oxygen. Oxygen that is vital to our survival. We must keep in mind to plant the right trees in the right place and also important to plant native trees, trees that are beneficial for our ecosystem. You cannot be planting eucalyptus in areas which are water deficient because it takes in about 100 to 120 liters of water every single day. We are guided by the fact of beautification. We are guided by the fact of visual merchandising. Anything that is good to the eye need not be the right thing for the earth, for the planet, for the soil, for the water, for our health, for our inner and outer wellness. It may not be good. It is it, not even good for the birds, bees and butterflies. Planting ornamental trees takes a lot from your soil. It requires energy as well as money for maintenance. Every region has its own native species. It's either originated from there or the species have adapted themselves over the past few hundred years. Unfortunately, many are tilting towards planting exotic, ornamental and non-native species, which are not helping, in fact, harming the ecology. And one way to get this right is to plant native, to look at plants and trees that are adapted by millions of years of, you know, adapting to this environment to live in the same kind of soil conditions, to have the same kind of moisture regime that the plant knows. Then you don't have to pamper it with, you know, extra water or extra nutrients or fertilizers. Mm -hmm.